Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the vintage paper girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm so happy that you're all here with me today. I have some fun projects to work on um, probably all week this week. So happy Monday. Um, I also have lots of fun things to tell you. But before we get going, I want to welcome all of my brand new subscribers. Hello, Kate. Welcome. And all of the rest of you that I may not have met yet. And I'm happy you're here and excited. I hope you will all subscribe so that you will know when I have a video and we'll see them as they come up. And then I want to say hi and hugs and hello and kisses and hugs again to all of my longtime followers who follow me and comment on a regular basis. I love you all so much. I'm so happy you're here. And I have a fun project today. So before we get going with all this goodness you see here on my desk, I'm actually going to move that aside because I've got some things to share with you. As you know, I like to do that from the video before if I didn't finish everything. So I think you remember um, we were making some envelope postcards and here are and these are all vintage envelopes and so here are a few little things that i made once i got off camera you saw me starting them but i hadn't gotten very far so here they are all done this was the first one we were working on i'm gonna stand up so i can see in the camera and you could see all the yummy layers that I added here. You saw me working on them. And then I've added stamps. And I changed the stamp. I didn't like it. It was sort of a purpley color. And I didn't care for it. So this is the back, which we can use as a pocket. Okay, so that's the first one. And then we have this one. Isn't that pretty? See, that's a, a vintage envelope. And I've added some lace and some bits and a stamp and some lace, more lace up here and some paper um, and a stamp. So you can see there's lots of good goodness there. And then there's this tiny little one, which I really like. Oh, I love this. This is a um, miniature postcard, I think, from Artie Mays. And then I've got a little bit here. I think that's from Ruby and Pearl or... Um, no, Sam Poole, I think. And then vintage laces um, all around. And then, oh, oh, I stamped the back. Yeah, and then I use my Paris stamp on there. So those three are done and ready to be used in a journal or whatever. And then I did this lovely trifold in honor of Heather at Ruby and Pearl. Um, she recently lost her husband and we all are you know, doing her projects just to honor her and support her and tell her that we love her. And I love, love her videos and her digitals. Um, I have a lot of them. And so I thought I would do a little reveal on this. Um, so you could see what I made. I used her video and her digitals from the video. So if you've seen hers, mine will look familiar to you. I'm going to be making more of these. Um, and using some other papers. Now I have a little clip with some sweet little goodies here on it. And then I have backed a couple of uh, the cards from the, from one of her kits, um, journaling cards, and so that you could write on them. I created a tuck spot here over this wonderful paper, which is the back of the trifold. And um, so I created a tuck spot for the cards to go into. And then I um, used my Big Shot to cut out um, this beautiful piece here and the embossing. I used my embosser on some, oh, what's this called? Watercolor paper. And I put that on there, some vintage lace, open it up, and it is um, a trifold tag book. And I put all kinds of... I mean, you could put this in here if you really wanted to, right here. It's a tech spot, but I have used her cards, a lot of her pieces from her kits here. All of these are from he uh, from Heather, and I created a pretty little tag here to go in the back. So I actually, this will hold tags here, here, and here. So it will hold uh, nine tags minimum. Uh, plus you can double and then there's another piece there. They've all been backed with some brown paper and ready to go. And then I created this little um, card right here. 
and isn't that cute? And these are all her, and then some more embossed packing paper I used on that right there to make the card. So that came out lovely. So I was really happy with this project. It was fun. It was easy. It was quick. The thing that takes the longest is to make the cards, really. Everything else goes very, very quickly. Um, so I'm going to stick these back in here the way I had them. And then that's the back, and that's the front. And I love it. I'm going to be making some more of these um, using other papers. Uh, but I wanted to do my first trifold. I wanted to be with Heather's um, at Ruby and Pearl XO. I wanted it to be with her, her paper, one of her kits. And there you go. So there you have it. I was working on that the other day. That's a lovely piece. I absolutely adore it. It's so yummy, you guys. And it's got such weight and crunchy and yummy it's perfect just adorable then i had a little shop and um i've been wanting some polka dot fabric swiss dot and i couldn't find swiss dot or polka dot so i went online to amazon and i got some here and um it's an amazon store it's called fields f-i-e-l-d-s i don't know if i can can't show it to you but fields fabrics and they're out of michigan and they're an Amazon um, fabric store. And um, so I got two yards of that because I want to use this. The quality is not something I would sew with, but I definitely will craft with. It's actually, it's a little stiff. So I think it's perfect for what I want to do. Um, it's going to be good for rushing up and, you know, gathering and backing. And so you're going to actually see me probably use some of it today. So Fields, F-I-E-L-D, apostrophe S, Fabrics. Or go onto Amazon and I just put polka dot fabric. This is tool. Oh, I put tool, T-U-L-L-E, dot ivory sheer polyester 50 inch wide fabric. And I got two yards of it and it was only five ninety seven dollars a yard. So I thought that was a steal. Again, I got that through Amazon. Then I went to an Etsy shop, and this shop was recommended by Melina um, over at scrapbookingwithme.com, and she recommended this little lady who is very sweet, very sweet plans, and it's for planners, They're, but I thought they would look beautiful. They're paper clips. I thought they would look lovely on the top of some of my journals, so aren't they pretty? So it's um, very sweet Plans. And if you just look that up on Etsy, you can go get some. They're beautiful. She does a lovely job. And then she sent me a sweet little freebie. So I thought I would share those with you because I really like them. You're going to see it and you're going to say, where'd you get it? And I'm going to say, I don't remember because I won't. It'll get separated from its packaging. I do try to remember things, but you know, sometimes it's, it's difficult. Let me see if I have a, if her card came in here. No, she didn't put a card in the, in the baggie, but uh, I figure they're going to be on some of my journals um, that I, you know, that I sell to, to give them, make them special, you know. So I have a little project today. Let's see. Um, I don't really have a name for this. They're just little envelope um, window tags. I'm going to call them window tags to go. And I think they're going to be tucks because I think they're going to be something that you would tuck in a journal so I brought along some paper, some buttons. Oh dear, I've dumped buttons everywhere. Let me grab one of my little dishes, you know, that I like to use so that they are corralled. I, I didn't pick these up per se. I just opened the jar and poured them out. I don't know if they're going to be um, the ones I'm going to use or if I'm going to open the jar and pour a bunch more out, but there they are. I've got some needle and thread, some lace, some applique, some papers to work with. Um, I, I was cleaning the garage, getting ready for our flooring. Oh, I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Oh, there's an, there's more buttons. Okay, they escaped. Anyway, you see why they go into a dish. They run around my desk willy-nilly. So I found this paper in the garage, and you can see it has started to age out there. I was cleaning the garage, and I thought, oh, this would be perfect to craft with. So I have a little bit of that. Um, and as I find more, I'm sure out there, I will use it. And then I, like I said, I have some lace bits and things. So I'm going to set those off to the side. And um, I just went and got some envelopes that were in fairly good uh, condition. And I got this one. 
And so, cause I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut it uh, so that, you know, you can see how I came up with these and then we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is start off and I, I'm gonna consider this a tuck. I mean, it could be a tag, it could be whatever you want. Oh, there's another button. Jeez, I think they're multiplying <laughs> like bunnies. They're like little bunnies on my desk. So the first thing I did when I did this was um, I cut off the end because we can use these ends as pockets in our journals. Um, and oops, I did not use a regular cutter. I used my decklage. You can rip these, but we all know how much I love to rip, <clears throat> not. So what I did was I just created, I cut it about the same width. I just eyeballed it as you see here. I did over here. Okay, I cut that off and then, you know, we have a nice little pocket. If you glue that down, you have a pocket you can use in your journals. And then I wanted about the same width as on this side over here. So I cut down this side. Now, yep, that's about what I did. I was looking to see what I did on the others and I did. And I'm gonna throw that away. That is not, I'm not gonna keep that. You could keep it, use it as a side tuck on your books or something, but I'm not. I, I junk mail's junk mail, you know? Now that's kind of wide. I may, take that down a little bit it's too wide I don't want it that wide so we're gonna go like this okay I have to tell you I was telling my husband this has been such a good investment I use my cutters all the time like daily so I probably will have to replace them because I use and abuse them pretty good then I got some of my favorite uh ladies and you can find ladies Ruby and Pearl has a brand new kit out. She has 75 pretty ladies that you can use. Um, vintage photos. Uh, uh, Artie Mays has them. Ruby and Pearl. Um, Sam Might, I can't remember. And also Taylor Made Journals. She has them. So if you go over to any of those shops on Etsy, you will be able to find vintage ladies. Okay. So I've been collecting mine for a very long time. Some are real, some aren't. And so we've got these ready to go. Now you could see they are too wide. They do not fit in there. So I'm going to pull out my other Tim Holtz cutter and I'm going to cut these down so that the ladies fit into the window. Now, um, I hate cutting these, but I just, they, I have to because they won't fit otherwise. Well, let me see what she looks like in here. I'm also going to do a couple other things to this. It's not the same as what I did before. I know you think it is, but it's not. Oh, she is just gorgeous. This is Miss Isabel J. Miss Isabel J. Princess Marie. Hmm, my goodness. Okay. Now let me see. I just had a brain fade. Well, I hope you are all well. How are you guys? What's happening? Anything new and exciting? I've got new and exciting things to share with you. We have decided, my son-in-law is doing well right now, so we have decided to go forward with our flooring. And we started the big, well, we didn't start, we did. We completed the big garage clean out the other day. And I have been hobbling around for two days after doing that. Um, Cause that was a lot for my legs. You know, my legs are bad and I need double knee replacements, but can't have them because of one of my illnesses I don't heal. So no knee replacements or any of that kind of surgery. Okay, I've got her cut down the way I want. Let's cut this young lady down. I've got them from all different eras. This is Miss Lily Elise. This is also Miss Lily Elise. And I think that's how you say her name. Or Elsie. Lily Elsie. E-L-S-I-E. Elsie, maybe? Anyway, um, so I... I have been hobbling around ever since I worked in the garage with my husband. We spent about six hours in there cleaning, throwing things out, organizing, getting things ready, getting all of our, our boxes together so we can pack up the uh, house into boxes. I have plastic and paper. And, you know, just getting everything ready to go. Now, you notice it's open here and here. I'm going to show you why in a minute. Um... Okay, so these, oops, I've got one more to go. Isn't she gorgeous? She's princess something, but I don't remember who, who, who she was. I don't know if that's gonna fit or if I gotta cut her down some more. 
Now you're probably also thinking, wow, I can see the envelope through here. And yes, you can, because these are not long enough. If you have bigger photos, but then you see you're still gonna be cutting off a lot and I didn't wanna do that. So what I decided to do was take some um, off cuts that I have from projects and line it. See, then we'll put that on there. And all you see is some pretty paper behind her. But I'm not sure if I want to use that lacy paper. I, I just love that. And I, and I don't really want to put it where you're barely going to see it. So what I may do is just use some, I think I'm going to get some coffee dyed paper here. And maybe save this for another project. And these are all off cuts that I was going to use for scrap, um, for like scrap notebooks. But, you know, I don't know that we need that yeah you just see the brown behind I think that's fine I mean we just need something back I mean we could use we could use a uh, let me see in my scraps hold on kind of all over the board today I hope that's okay I um, have been very tired from working so hard to get the house get things ready to pack up the house so I'm a little on the tired side but I'll catch up you know I could use paper in the background so let's see what that would look like behind the ladies did you see a little bit of it the script actually that's not bad either I think I I think I'm gonna use different things behind different girls. Let's 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 think about that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. So what I think I'll do is I'll cut it the width of the picture. That will help. And then I also have pretty prints. So I guess if I think I see something that would look good with it, she actually takes up the whole page. So she is not gonna need anything behind her. But we'll see what we need here. Um, so anyway, we packed up, we're ready. We're going to start the process. I'm really excited. Um, no, I don't think I want any color behind her. I, I think I like the, the words. So I'm going to kind of, I'll have to cut that some more. I want to get the white off the top of that because uh, it's just going to make it harder. All right, I'm going to put this in, then I'll continue talking. Give me a minute here. I need to concentrate for just a second. Yes, you're not going to see all that script back there, but it's very difficult to to if I get it on there right, you'll see a little bit of script behind her, and I like that. Okay, so I don't need that. Let me get a pen, pencil, something. Oh, I know I have one here somewhere. There we go. So we're, um, what was I saying? Getting the floors, we're gonna do the floors. So I'm gonna start packing. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to do three videos for you so you will have them while we have our so. Monday through Friday of this week that you see this video, we will be working on starting our floors. So I will be trying to get these videos done so that you see them. You have something to watch while we're working on the floors. And I will try to do maybe some quick little snippet videos where I show you, hey, here's what's happening. Here's what we're doing. Here's, here's where things are going, you know. I'm actually going to move that up just a hair. I know I'm being very fussy, very fussy. Forgive me, but I don't know any other way to do this. Now, someone asked me about this little cap. This is a knitting needle cap. I got it at Amazon. It's just rubber. And she asked, what kind of pins do you use? I don't use a pin. I just make sure it's closed very tightly into the top. And I don't need one. 90% of the time, this is open unless I haven't done any gluing for a couple days. And then I may have to stick a pin in it and open it up, you know.
but otherwise it's fine. I don't use a pin because I found, honestly, the more pins I use, the gooier the top got. And it seemed like it was always constantly, um, putting some glue in here, constantly gumming up every time I took the pin out, it would close up. I thought, ah, this is driving me nuts. It really was. So I just stopped using a pin. I don't use one. I use this little rubber caps and when they get full of glue, I just take a little thing here and I'll run it around inside and pull out the glue and, you know, clean it out and then put it back on and make sure it's in there tight. And you get them like, I don't know, 20 a little package. So I just get a new one when it stops, you know, keeping the air out. Now I'm not going to ink this because you're just not going to, well, you are going to see the top and bottom. So I lied. I am going to ink it a little bit. And I'm going to figure out where it goes. And I want her face in there very well. She has a beautiful face. Isn't she gorgeous? I just love her. And don't ask me what kit she's in because I have no idea. I no, no, no idea. Now, I'm not worrying about gluing her in because this is going to be glued closed. I just want it to stick on there. So who, whoever asked me about this, um, I hope that helped you. I, I use them on, it, they come in two sizes, so I use them on both my, all my bottles, my glue bottles. All right, now the first one's done. You're probably thinking, well, how is that different from your others? Well, I will show you. Now comes the fun part. I am going to cut this other side now that it's all glued in. Oh, that was the wrong cutter. Oh, no. Wrong one. Oh, my paper cutter did not like that. I can tell you that right now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now... I am not particularly liking this straight edge here. Oops, sorry guys. I think you might be able to hear that ambulance. I don't know, maybe not. It's early Sunday morning, uh, Saturday morning for me, as I'm filming for this whole week that you're watching. I wanted to rip those off. And then I'm gonna close this up all the way around the edge. Don't need it open anymore. I'm keeping it away from the window because you don't want it to get it in the window. Now you could rip all the way around. If you are confident in your ripping and you feel like, hey, you're gonna do a great job and you like the way you do it, rip them all the way around. I did not because I'm not confident in my ripping. I always end up ripping off something I don't want ripped off. <laughs> So, I mean, I will, but this is a couple layers. So I, I just like, but I am going to kind of round up the corners a little bit. And then I'm going to take and ink it. I'm going to leave it flat on the top. I've glued it closed. Okay. Now I could have gone around the window, but I have that window. It has the cellophane in it. So I didn't want to, um, you know, then I'm going to take my little scissors and I am going to give it a little all right now you could stamp on this you can leave it just like this and not do any another single thing I mean no other decoration you could put lace all over it whatever you would like but now I'm going to take the, now comes the fun part. I don't need all this paper, I only need one. And I want to 
rip around this one. Now this one I do want to rip around. Oh, we'll see how I do with this. Oh, maybe I could use my, I'm going to move my scrap tray. It's in my way. Okay. Let me move all my girls and all my stuff out of the way. I'm, I'm getting a mess going here. All right. Let me move that. Move this. Okay. I need to make some room. All right. I'm thinking if I can find it. Excuse my elbow. I'm going to use my little tear, mirror memory tear ruler. There we go. Now, I did pull a long piece there on purpose. And I am going to... Now, any kind of junk paper will do anything, anything you want to use. Tea dyed, coffee dyed, whatever. But this is what I had, and I thought, wow, that's perfect. Then we're going to put that on there like that. And we're going to fold this over just a bit. And we're going to tear around the corners because we want it we want them the bottoms rounded Ugh, I did a terrible job on that I knew that was going to happen why well, I don't like to tear I'm going to move it up instead let's see do I want to no I want to I need that little Darn it, I wish I hadn't damaged that corner. <clears throat> okay, let's try it again. And where's that strip I just had? I ripped a big strip. You saw me do it, right? What did I do with it? Did I throw it on the floor? Oh, yeah, I threw it on the floor. That was bright. <clears throat> okay, let's try this again. So the first thing we want to do is we want to wrap it around the top a bit, about that much. Up. Sounds like my new neighbors are moving in. It was early morning, so I was thinking I was okay. Oh, they're getting either furniture or appliances delivered today. Yay! We've got brand new neighbors. Young couple. Very nice. Love them. Fabulous people. I think we'll enjoy having them. I think they'll enjoy living here. We have a, a little baby girl. So fun. All right. Let's try this again. You just want to kind of have it kind of rough. You know, it doesn't need to be. Hopefully that sound of that truck isn't bothering you. I really don't want to close the window. The birds are singing in and it's a beautiful, cool morning. And I have to tell you, it's been in the high, uh, low 90s to 100. We had 106 the other day. So I'm like enjoying the quiet morning. And you just kind of want to give it a scrunchy. Kind of cutting off this little corner here that I don't really want. And you do want to ink this. So let's see, I just put that ink Wow, um, my suddenly quiet morning became a very noisy morning. <laughs> That's okay though, right? It just is what it is. You know, we live in a world where it's busy now. During the pandemic, everything was so quiet and we all were wishing for noise and well, it's back. So, well, I wasn't wishing for noise. I loved it. I love the quiet of it, not the pandemic, but I love the quiet of it. I'd sit out on my porch and rock away in a quiet, quiet, quiet world. Except for the birdies singing. And even they were kind of quiet. It's like they knew something wasn't quite right. So then we're going to take a little bit of lace across the top. And don't quite need that much lace. And glue that on. I think 
I saw this either on Instagram or I'm not sure, or Pinterest. I've been looking at both pretty regular. So I saw this and I thought they were so cool. And I thought they would make a great tuck on a journal. They're just kind of a scrappy, fun thing. And I want to add, I was thinking I would add a little bit of this too. Well, as you can see, I just need to get out some glue. I'm wiggling around in my chair. Sorry, I gotta get. I have got to get situated here. Haven't done any videos for a few days, so I'm a little out of it. Now, if you don't like the paper idea behind it, I, you could put something else back there. You could put lace or whatever you want. And we're gonna go like this. This is my version of what I saw. And then I'm gonna go like this. Gotta see what's the top. I'm go like this. So I'm very excited. We are going to, hopefully today, when I get done with my video, get online and order our Oh, what you call it, our I gotta think what it's called. Baseboards. Uh need to be painted and everything, so we're gonna get started on those. It's not just about flooring. We're we're also gonna be doing some what they call mill work, which we're gonna be adding some pretty trim to our walls and painting. So the house is getting a complete and total facelift. It's not just um flooring, but it all kind of has to be done together. I'm adding this pretty tool polka dot or dotted trim because she's so elegant. I just feel like she needs a little more than just a bit of lace. You know what I mean? Okay, now I have a bunch of buttons here. I'm gonna see if I can find one that's already got thread through it so I don't have to thread my needle and do that. But, you know, let me see. I bought about five pounds of buttons from a lady and um, I don't remember who I got them from. Oh, was it you? Oh, Veronica? Maybe not. I don't know, but I got a whole bunch of buttons. And then I already had some that I bought from a couple of friends. So, I'm kind of looking for something pretty. Here's a mother of pearl. I could cut the back off of that if I don't shatter it and put that on there. Hmm. Hmm. Now oh, here's one that's tiny and it's got some thread through it. That's pretty. Where'd that one go? I'm going to see if I can cut this. If I can, I will do that and glue it on. If I can, then I won't. Mm -mm. I can't even get my... I can't even get my cutters in there, so that isn't going to work. All right, that one's not going to work. I was looking for something elegant to put on there. I can usually cut the stems of those off. Let's see if I can do that on this one. And I put those back. Well, that was not smart. Yep, came right off. Didn't even have to apply any pressure. That's pretty. I like that one too. I don't need quite so many buttons, I don't think. Oh, there's another one. I want to make sure we keep those on the plate, right? 
So super excited. We're going forward with the floors unless something happens that we can't foresee and then we may have to stop. But we are going to just take it one day at a time and see what we need to do. You know, I'm going to use this little bit of lace here. I'm going to cut off all the gunky parts. Gunky parts. Hmm. So... My hubby and I are have been working hard and we are both tired already and we haven't even got to the floors yet. So oh, this is going to be good. <clears throat> so what happens when you do something in your 60s versus your 40s or even your 50s? Yeah. All right, we're going to let that dry. I think it's very pretty. It's different. It's kind of old. I want it to look old. That is the whole point. Not grungy, but old. And maybe some people acquaint that to as grungy. I'm not sure. All right, so what? how much time do we have? Oh, I have a little time. So let's do another one. It does take a bit of time to... This one, not so much, because she actually fits in there. So I'm going to go ahead and ink her... And I'm going to get the envelope. Oh, that's right. I need to do one. I need to cut that side. I should just go back. Oh, right. No, I don't want to do it till they're all cut in. It's just, I know it's funny, but it's, believe it or not, it's harder to work with that way. I can go back and cut and ink again. So let's see. She actually fits in there. Perfect. Just, if I do it just right, and I mean just right. There we go. Beautiful. She fits the whole thing. Yay. All right, let's get some glue in there. I hope you're having a lovely summer, all of you. We are. We're, we're doing our best to have it fun and, and get projects done and enjoy our time. We've been watching lots of cool movies. We watched Doctor Strange. Not my normal thing. My husband either. But we thought, what the heck? And we really enjoyed it. So it was good. Um, not Like I said, not my, not my normal thing. But I have watched a lot of the Marvels. I haven't watched them all, but I've watched a lot of the Marvel series comic series i like superheroes so um, i did enjoy it and we liked that what else did we watch uh downton abbey number two the second movie loved it loved it loved every minute of it i want to buy it when it comes out definitely want to buy it and put it in my collection one and two I watched the whole series a couple times, and now they've taken it off Netflix. I'm so bummed. I don't know why they did that. Maybe to see if there's any demand because no one was watching it. It takes up too much space in their queue. I don't know what the deal was, but I loved it because it's gorgeous clothes and beautiful era to look at. Visually beautiful. It was a beautiful movie, that uh, Downton Abbey too. The new one where they go to France. <sighs> Okay, um, now is this a longer envelope? Oh, that's even longer than that one. Okay, so if I have a short one, which I think, no, no. So this will just get used as junk paper. That's okay, we'll just rip another piece, right? No biggie. Oh, I did it this way. Okay. Let's. I don't want it quite so wide this time. Let's make it a much more narrow. Oh, 
Okay. Definitely don't need that part down there, but we'll we'll deal with that later. And then I do want to kind of just rip that off. And I want to take off the very edge. Well, that one's already kind of off, so I'm not going to worry about it. But you want to make sure you get a good little turn down here so you have some place to put your lace. And then... I had a better way to rip corners, you know, that I liked. I just don't like the way it rips. So what I want to do is I want to kind of just get it all tattered up. And I want to ink it up. It's okay if it's all um, crumpled. I don't, I don't know how to get these round and make them look good. You know what? I wonder. <laughs> Let's try this. Well, they're a little more pristine than I would like, but that's okay. That's better than that sharp corner, which I don't care for. There. Look at that. Okay. You could use brown paper behind these too. I just got lucky and found this vintage. I mean, it's very crumbly. I mean, it's it's probably only been sitting out in my garage about 10 years, but between the hot and the cold, boy, it really aged in nicely. It looks way older. Now, what do I want to put across the top of this one? I am thinking I might want to use a bit of this tatting that I have that came in my lace order. Oh, absolutely. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I definitely want to put some of this behind it. I thought there was a, yeah, there's a thinner one. I just cut some strips off of that uh, fabric. So I think you're all caught up. So if you don't see any new videos from me for some weird reason, it's because we are in the midst of the floors and I wasn't able to, um, oh darn, I got ink on there. Oh shoot, must have been on my thumb. Um, I'm gonna have to put some lace or something there. Darn it. I wonder what that came, maybe it came off of my ink pad or something. Yeah, there's ink roaming around on my desk. That's where it came from, darn it. Okay, let's glue this on. Yes, I'm using Fabri-Tac today. I don't know why. I could should be using my other glue. I know why, because this paper's super thin, and sometimes the art glitter glue turns it a funky color. I don't know what's happening with that, but gonna glue this down just a little bit okay like that I feel like I pushed myself too close to the table Ugh. all right so I'm gonna kind of whoosh that on there again like we you saw me do earlier get some glue on here and then you just push it gather it up on the glue because the glue is sticky this would work better with hot glue, honestly. Or I find my glue stick works better than this. So let me, I'm getting nowhere with this one, so let me try the glue stick. This is, only this glue stick works that great, is this uh, Scotch Create. I don't know if you can do it with other glue sticks. I've never tried to gather, but I put quite a bit of glue stick up there. Now it's already kind of gluey, so that's gonna help a lot.
it's actually sticking to my fingers because of the other glue. I'm not sure if I put enough glue on there. I usually will use similar elements when I'm working on things that could possibly go in the same journal. Oh, you know why I'm having trouble. Where is my brain? Where is my brain, you guys? Why am I letting it stick to my fingers when I know to use my spatulas? <sighs> because I have a tired brain. <laughs> Actually, I have a tired body, which is making my brain tired. But that's okay. I don't mind it. I'll By the time this floor is done, I should be in actually pretty good condition. I'm going to think of it. I'm packing everything up. I'm dreading. I have two hutches full of glass. Oh, they're glass hutches with glass in them. And I am, oh, you know, not wanting to pack those up. They're vintage. A lot of the glass is very, very old. My grandmother's, my mother's, fine. My husband's mother, his grandmother. So we have stuff from everybody that we've inherited over time or that nobody wanted and we ended up with it. So... Some of it my mom left to me and then his mom. So we're very excited to have it, but it's got to get packed up safely. And I'm not sure how much of it we're going to put back out again. I don't know. We're getting there in age and I, I don't want the kids to have to pack it up. So I don't know. We may leave it in boxes in storage and let the kids decide if they want to keep it, get rid of it, donate it, whatever. My teacup collection's in storage. I after we had a big earthquake, I've pretty much not put it back out because I lost most of my teacup collection. Beautiful roses. Oh, they were gorgeous. Rose teacups. A lot of it vintage, a lot of it from England and France. Oh, I was collecting them from the time I was, oh, 16 maybe. And when we had a big earthquake here in 19, what year was it? 87, 88, 89, somewhere right there. Have a 7.1 earthquake here where I live, and we lost a lot of stuff. Mainly my beautiful treasures. Oh, broke my heart. I feel like I want to put a flower or something there, so I may do that. Or some pearls. Oh, I do have pearl things. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Anybody know what I'm thinking? Um... What am I thinking? How much time do I have? Do I have time to go looking for what I need? Maybe. Excuse my arm, my side, or whatever you're seeing. Mm, I see what I'm after. Uh, joy, Journey of Crafting. That's where this stuff came from. I am looking for one of my flatback pearls. Looking for a big one like that. I just saw it when I opened the pack and then it just disappeared on me. Oh, the little booger. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Perfect size. I wasn't going to decorate that, but because I've got something on it, this is how we fix something. If you get your thing damaged, what you're working on, then you just pull out whatever you've got in your stash to cover it. It could be anything. It could just be paper if that's all you have. Um, I'm wondering if I cut off the pearl and put it there. Mm, I could do that. Let's see. I have to do it carefully because if I'm not careful, it will undo my... There we go, and okay. These are my snippet boxes for those of you who are new. I took bits of everything and put them in little boxes that I have all over my room so that I don't have to search and search for things. I can just look in my little boxes, see what I have. Mm, I have this bit of tatting I was thinking would look good behind that. Mm. 
There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I think I've got what I want. I started with uh, three of those boxes. I think I'm up to four now. <laughs> but that's okay. I think it looks lovely with that. I might need a glue gun for this. I will try my Fabri-Tac, and if it doesn't work, I will um, move on to my... I know you're wondering what I'm doing, but I'm aging it just a little bit. Okay. Right over that nasty spot we got. I'm gonna squish it up a little, make it kind of look like a little bow. Then I'm gonna put the other little bow on there. Oopsie. Gotta find the back side of that one. Just gonna my time. We got time to finish it. Wasn't she pretty? Unscheduled, but that's okay, right? Oh, whoops. Okay. My fingers just hit their limit as to how much uh, glue they'll tolerate. I can't feel my fingers anymore. I'm going to get a wet one out. Oh, that's really a wet one. <laughs> Glue, I mean, it's got it's soapy. Oh, it's the bottom of the, the um, container. I got to get that off my hands. I don't like the way that feels. It feels yucky. I sound like a two-year-old. It feels yucky. Mommy, I don't like it. It feels yucky. Okay, and I have a dry one here. What am I going to do with that wet one? I know what I'm going to do with the wet one. I'm going to stick it in that little thing so it doesn't get everything on my desk wet. I learned that the hard way. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You know. Soaked my papers one day. So, isn't she pretty? I know this is very white. So, if you don't like that, you definitely could take a little brush. Let me cover that back up. You can take one of your little brushes. And we'll make a brush things here. And you can um, I'm gonna take a little scrap. I don't want that hard. Uh, and you can just kind of go around and take off some of that bright white if that's bothering you, which a lot of people don't like bright white. I do. I, I don't mind it in my work now. I used to always hate it, but I just think that not everything is going to be dark and grungy and, you know. So you notice I dabbed off what I what I didn't want there, right? Okay. And uh, she's got enough on her, so aren't those pretty? Oh, you guys, I'm so, so happy with them. Well, I want to thank you for coming along and hanging out as I did these. I'm going to do the other two. Probably I'll finish those off camera. And then I will share them with you all uh, very soon um, in my next video. I'm going to try to... Oh, gosh. I have got that ink everywhere, you guys. I don't... I wonder if it's my... Um, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What did I get into? It's on everything. Oh, boy. Sorry, I'm going to finish this in just a second. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not distracted, I swear. No. I just don't want to ruin anything else. Oh, my goodness. Well, we were able to save that. So this was a good lesson on how to fix a boo-boo. Something that may happen. So I want to thank you for coming along and playing with me today. It was lots of fun. I will finish the other two. I am doing multiple videos today, so you'll have them for Wednesday and Friday. And I'll show you in one of these other videos the other two, and then we'll move on to our other projects. Lots of fun things for you this week, so please be sure that you watch the video and you watch it all the way through. It doesn't help me if you only watch the beginning and you don't finish the video because... <sighs> YouTube thinks no one likes my videos when you do that. And I know you guys do because you're watching them and you're commenting. So please do that for me. So anyway, I love you guys. You have a fabulous week and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye, you guys.